Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Would you believe me if I said this makeup look only took me five minutes? Can you believe that? I can't believe it either. It was probably one of the easiest faces I've ever done and it is so beautiful because it's so glowy and I still can't believe it took me five minutes. And it is actually really, really good for your skin. Anything that I put on, it's actually helping the skin, not taking away. But I wanted to show you guys how easy the makeup remover this is called Go Off. It's a natural cleansing oil. Thank you, Oma by Sharon C, for sponsoring this video. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Grabbing on some water. That shit works. All the makeup just melted off into my hands. Just wanna show you guys. Wow. I'm gonna take the wipe that's an equivalent to makeup wipe. Usually when I use makeup wipes, I really get irritated and my skin actually just feels fresh. Not irritated. That definitely did the job. No wash necessary, no irritation. Let's begin the tutorial, honey. I'm going to be doing a voiceover throughout the entire makeup video because I just feel like I can better explain myself versus if I'm talking and doing the makeup at the same time, I realize I can better explain it if I'm just doing a voiceover for you guys to learn at home how to slay your face. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to glow up within five minutes. You can set a timer on me. We are going to dedicate this video to whomever is out there that is booked and busy and hates sitting down and doing hair and makeup 24 seven. I mean, I love it to a certain extent, but then you just need to gather your face and then keep it moving sometimes. We are going to be using Oma Beauty. I have used this product for many, many years by Sharon C. She just made a brand called Oma by Sharon C, which is way more affordable than their original brand. I love the brand that they have already had released. It is impeccable quality loved it have been using it for years so if you guys like the concept of this video go ahead and comment down below and let your girl know if you guys enjoy this and if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel go ahead and join my little community so without further ado i'm going to zip and begin we are starting off with Supernatural Glow Serum. So this is the 10%. It is amazing for sensitive skin, meaning I have extremely sensitive skin. So the cool thing about this product is that you can use it as a glow up serum. It has a natural glow to it and it also helps attach your foundation on, kind of like a primer. So we're gonna go to the foundation next. We have the Flawless IRL Foundation, Flawless in Real Life. This foundation has serum, moisturizer, and beauty balm. Like, literally, it is perfection. Another cool trick about this foundation is that you can mix it up with eye cream and use it as a concealer. That's how potent it is. So one thing I realized about this foundation was that it really does the job. It really does cover, but it also has a glow. Just going to go ahead and put some color corrector and concealer a very tiny amount as you guys can see it's not my usual wake and bake situation on my face how satisfying is that just down at the bridge of my nose you like it oh yeah you freaks and then we're gonna do the cupid's brow we always highlight these areas because we want it to stand out i want that plump and pouty lip and my chin to stand out, center of the forehead, tree of life, tree of life. Now I'm going to put some concealer underneath my brows because I like them to look lifted. I believe I can fly vibes. I realized while I was doing my makeup that the concealer, a regular amount of concealer, was a little bit too much with this foundation because the foundation really gave what it needed to have on my face. So I'm thinning out the concealer over here because it just looked too much. And I'm going for a daytime everyday look and I don't want to look cake face. So going to thin this out, don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you put a tiny bit. And blend, 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 bounce, 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 bounce. 
this shit right here is sorcery at its best. So to the regular eye, it's going to look like a balm or a lip tint, but this is its complicated glossy lip. Let me tell you, the name is so true to what the product is. It's very complicated at the shit this product can do. Now, we applied it on my lip and then I used it as a lip liner. We picked a darker shade. Literally no lip liner used for this lip. Used a lighter tone. If you guys want to know what the colors are, link down below. And then, can you believe the shit? Uh, uh, yeah. I put a lip gloss on my cheek for a contour. And look at that cut. I think I was even shook when I first saw the product that it could do it so well. Because you know how, like, you see tips and tricks? Uh-huh. And eyeshadow. Eat your heart out. So we always see tips and tricks online, but come on, bullshit aside. Some of those tips and tricks is because you don't have the product. But this really does what the product does, what a contour, a liquid contour would do. And it's in the form of a gloss. Like, I think that with this product, this is one of the most revolutionary products I've seen in the makeup industry. As of late, I know it's super saturated and so many products come out, but this one, damn, Gina. So again, the products are so easy to blend. If you usually see me blending my contour and my highlight or anything else, I always opt for brushes. But the fact that it's like just seamlessly like butter, I can't believe it's butter. If I blending into my skin with a beauty blender, I'm here for it. I'm here for it all. And the eye just really made it look like I was wearing a dewy shadow, no powders. It just, my skin in person was giving. We are going to blend with a shadow brush on my lid because I just wanted to make sure that it took the form of a contoured eye versus using a blender on my eyelid because that would have just smeared it all out. Adding a little bit more on this side just because I want to. Just kidding. So that side is my smaller eye. So I always put a little bit more to open it up and I'm using it to contour the bridge of my nose. So these products are perfect for the everyday person because it just so easy to use. Literally look at the skin, look at the glow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and yeah, I used it as blush too. I took the red tint and I used it as liquid blush. I actually didn't need to even add a powder blush over this because the liquid blush gave everything. Look at the difference. Like, look at that glow. I know sometimes I always, not sometimes, I always say that, you know, studio makeup looks different in person and in person makeup looks different on camera. Oh, the Artist Couture, we used their setting powder. It was really pretty, just underneath the eye a little bit. And around my nostril, because that's my oily area. Mm -hmm. Just a little tappy tap. And as you guys can see, how the product like grabbed onto the powder is beautiful too. We're not doing too much. I'm not baking, nothing, none of that. It's a pressed powder that I'm using just to make sure that, you know, it stayed. This shit right here, this mascara right here, it is called Batter Boom. Like, you don't understand. I think I was even shook while filming this, putting it on. Um, I definitely think that this was a better version of the Maybelline Sky High because the Maybelline Sky High hurt my eyes. And this one lifted and flew off like what? Five minutes. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco minutos. Tres, right? Cinco minutos. Whatever. I'm trying a little by little. Um, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed, as you guys can see. Look at the glow. I mean, this is just very refreshing, beautiful makeup. Honestly, let me give you guys like um, a pointer with makeup. 
I know a lot is beautiful and I know we love to like bake and do the most and this and that. I promise you the most compliments I get in life is when I look like this. If you go out to dinner looking like this, all the guys are going to swoon over you because it just looks like it's you. The makeup is not standing out too much. It literally looks like skin. This mascara, this one is better than the Maybelline Sky High. I've tried out the Maybelline one, the one that went viral. It irritated my eye. I was shocked at this one. The Oma foundation, I already knew was gonna be insanely good because I was using it years before. I think a lot of people sleep on this brand a lot. It is targeted towards darker skin tones, but let me tell you something, Sharon, the owner of Oma, really got the color palettes down to another level because the undertones, they just like go so well and look at how vibrant my face looks. There is not a lot of contour going on. I used a lip tint for contour. That lip tint is universal. You can use it for anything. Look at my lips. Like it just looks so fresh. This is a whole summer vibe. You're not gonna look too much, too little. You're gonna look put together. Oma by Sharon C gets an A plus 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 for me. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial where it's a voiceover and I got to be more specific of what I'm doing while I'm doing it because I rewatched myself back, go ahead and comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm a baby. We are going to do the quote, the quote of the video. I'm so happy you guys have been enjoying this as much as I enjoy collecting them and then thinking about them. I've been posting them on Insta too. If you don't follow me on Insta, you should be. That's my handle. I have to like say this in my author. No, is it an author? Narrator. That's what I was looking for. And when you become a diamond, you'll see why life had to pressure you. It's something I keep reminding myself just because I've been through a lot in my lifespan. It keeps going like, BAM BITCH! Got you. <laughs> Every day I wake up, it's like, SURPRISE BITCH! <laughs> I just get slapped back into bed. And when you become a diamond, you'll see why life had to pressure you. And for those of you, if you guys didn't know, diamonds are basically like specs. So through pressure, through time, and through the years, they become diamonds, which diamonds are forever. And when you become a diamond, you'll see why life had to pressure you. So I'm just gonna roll with that, you know? Like I'm just taking it how it goes. and. I just keep looking at that one quote and I'm like, okay, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your comments in all my videos and thank you for your support. I love you so, so much. Mwah, mwah. Diamonds are forever.